This is Banjo, and today I'm going over how to set up Zeus for use in your Arma 3 missions. This will work for both single and multiplayer missions. Start with placing a player unit. In this case, I have him named P1. And next, enter modules through F7 and place down a Zeus Game Master module. The variables that can be defined are owner, in this case P1, which is our player unit, name Z1, which is the name of the Zeus system. Default add-ons, in this case we're using all add-ons including unofficial which are modded add-ons. And forced interface, we'll want this disabled so it doesn't force the interface open on us. With the game master placed, next we'll go over the optional modules. In this case, add camera area and add editing area. Starting with the add camera area module, we simply have assigned Zeus, which is the Zeus module we assigned to it, and calling, which is the max ceiling height of the camera area. Editing area simply has assigned Zeus. Synchronize these to an area game logic and synchronize the area game logic to a trigger. The axis size of the trigger define the size of the camera and editing areas. In this case represented by a big oval. The set camera position module is simply used as a location to default the Zeus camera to upon entering the Zeus interface. Parameters include assigned Zeus, the pitch of the camera, commit time, which is the time it takes for the camera to transition to the camera position, and uses default. In the initialization, I've included a line to raise the module 30 meters above the ground as well. With the camera and editing module set up, next I'll place an add editable objects module, which can be used to add control over already placed AI units in the map. In this case, I have two small groups on cycle patrols. I'll simply synchronize the add editable objects to their group leaders. This will enable Zeus editing control of the placed AI groups. The next optional module I'll go over is the add icon module. We have assigned Zeus as well as texture, which is the texture used for the icon, in this case a military flag. We have the name that will be displayed, which is Zeus area, the size of the icon, color of the icon, and if it will be shown on the map. Now with all of the editing and camera modules placed and our optional add icon module placed, it's time to go over cost modules and resource modules, starting with set costs, soldiers and vehicles. The module is located in category Zeus, module set cost, soldiers and vehicles. Parameters include assigned Zeus as well as all of the cost values for all of the soldiers and vehicles. In this case I'm using decimal points. We can see the same for the Set Editing Cost module, which is used to determine editing costs such as placing, editing, or deleting units. Default value without the module placed in game will result in all values being zero cost. Next, Set Cost Modules determines the cost of the modules placed through the Zeus system. And the final module I'll be going over in this tutorial is the Set Cost Objects module which can be used to determine the price of objects placed through the Zeus system. When the set resource module has a value of 1, the max cost that can be used for an object is 1, meaning 100% of the points being used. In this case, any value 1 or higher will either take all the points or will not be placeable through the Zeus system. Finally, taking a look at the manage resources module, which can be used to add resource points mid-game. In this case we would see it performs a value of 1 once. We have a second manage resource module set up the same way except this one is synchronized to a trigger meaning the resource module will only be activated after the trigger is activated and we see the trigger is set up for blue 4 present repeatedly. So if blue 4 enters the trigger zone the Zeus points added through the manage resources module will be added to the Zeus system. And with that, Zeus is now set up and ready for testing in-game. As we spawn in-game, opening the Zeus interface, we can see we have control over the two groups synchronized to the Add Editable Envoy. Objects module. And by placing units in map, we can see the cost values assigned to them. You'll be able to find a link to the setup template created for this example mission in the video description.